this was a very very uh, big news in 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 Sweden so uh, uh, we had like I think 25 pages in the newspaper the day af after so uh, and my pictures were like very strong pictures and showing dead bodies and uh, Norway and Sweden is very close and and uh, so they they pixel the faces of the the bodies not showing the identity of them um, so there was, there was a big discussion on how to publish the pictures and to show them respect. I was home this uh, afternoon in Stockholm and uh, my newspaper called me and uh, told me that there had been a big explosion in the city center of Oslo. Um, and they asked me to take the next flight to Oslo to cover it. And uh, me and the six colleagues uh, jumped the next flight. And um, when we arrived to Oslo airport, we um, got a call about a, big, uh, about a shooting on a small island called Utøya. Um, so me and a few colleagues of mine decided to go there instead of going to Oslo. So we, we rented a car and um, instead of going the quickest way through Oslo, we took a detour to avoid the traffic jams in Oslo. Um, we arrived to the small uh, village of uh, Sundvoldan and uh, found a man with a boat who agreed to take us out there. Um, the boat trip took about half an hour. Um, when we arrived, we started to see the island and hear the helicopters hovering the sky. Uh, it looked kind of uh, dirty around the island. Uh, spots, colored spots with like clothing and stuff like that. Um, then suddenly we saw a body in the water and uh, then we saw two more. And we saw five bodies there and seven bodies, three bodies all over the island. We saw some uh, boats with uh, local people uh, circle the, the island looking for people, I guess. We only knew that there was a shooting, so we, we, knew, we knew that I think two people were, were, were dead. And, but I mean, we saw like 25 people dead, I mean, just along the shoreline. So, so uh, that was quite, quite a shock. We didn't expect it to be this much. Uh, so that was tough. The police didn't say anything to, to, to us. Um, I think that we stayed uh, around the island for, for about an hour an hour and a half, um, and then after that the police, a police boat came and uh, asked us to, to leave, and then we, we left. We heard that um, um, they had arrested one person for the shooting, uh, and they were still looking for, for more shooters. So the police they didn't know if there were one or, or more sh 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 shooters, so uh, um, we didn't know about that at that time. We asked the man who took us out with the boat if he knew a place where we can stay the night. We had to send our pictures and stories back home. Um, and he knew the people who worked at the Sundvolden Hotel. So he arranged for two rooms for us there. And um, uh, we didn't know him that time, but, but this was also the crisis center. So they took all the survivors and, and relatives for the vi victims to that hotel. And that was quite a feeling to get into the lo lobby and, and people were sitting in just underwear uh, with the bl blankets, crying, hysterically shocked pe people, uh, hurt people, relatives coming in and crying and looking for their children. And, and that was a very strong moment. We didn't uh, show them that we were uh, working ju journalists. We were um, not working at that time because um, that would have been impossible. Um, so I left the cameras in, in my room. Uh, we didn't work, I didn't take any pictures th there. I also live by the ocean and the islands look the same as in Norway. So each time when I'm out with my boat, I think about the island and the people. It could be, in, could be here at my place. So um, I think about it not every day, but often I think about this.